Hi everyone, the Joyful Yogini here. It's time for the weekly reading, and this time I pulled from the Archangel deck. A whole bunch of cards wanted to come out to play today, so let's do these quickly. The first one is Claire cognizance. Take note of the ideas that are popping into your head, the inspiration that comes in, and trust that these are guided messages. You can't always tell if it is you just talking to you, or is it, which is also you talking to you, your higher self. Is it your angels, your guides? Are these divinely guided messages? You can't necessarily always tell that. So just trust, pay attention to the thoughts that are popping in. And if you get that inspiration that feels good, trust in that, move forward in that. Because right now your intuition, <clears throat> if you picture a dial, and maybe that dial, your intuition dial, was that medium low. Now that dial, ch -ch -ch -ch, this whole week, these whole next seven days, that dial is on high. So trust the ideas and inspiration that comes. Next card that came up is creative writing. So take some time to write, to journal. Maybe some of you will want to pen an article. Maybe you're going to want to start your own blog. Maybe you're just going to want to write in your journal. And you know what? Writing can be so incredibly healing. If you've had some stuff coming up, write about it. Maybe just thoughts about relationships have been coming up. Thoughts about health have been coming up. Thoughts about your career have been coming up. Why don't you write down some of the different experiences that you've had and the emotions that came up and the learnings that you've had. It can be an incredible healing process or maybe it's time to start that book you've been wanting to write. So <clears throat> get that writing inspiration uh, going. Get that pen to paper, write it down. Or yeah, maybe you're gonna use the computer, right? But just trust, if you're wanting to heal through stuff, I always find that writing it can be incredibly healing, but that might be just simply an individual thing. So follow your heart with that one. The next thing that came up is comfort. I love that. So Archangel Azrael is saying, I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. So many of us have had some type of heart trauma. So maybe it's a love that that relationship broke. Um, maybe it's just some, you know, a long-term relationship that ended. It could be a friendship. It could be relationship within a job. It could be um, <clears throat> a long-term love relationship. So. It can all be different types of relationships, but uh, there's been some type of trauma, some type of loss. It could be this lifetime or maybe past lifetimes or even uh, a heart-based trauma within your DNA that, uh, that's been bubbling up. You've been working through it. You might not understand why you're feeling sad, why uh, maybe regrets have been coming up, fears of making a decision moving forward. So Archangel Azrael is here to assist you with that, help you to heal your heart so you can move forward. So this comfort card is saying, hey, don't worry, man, we got your back. We're helping you through this and it's going to get better and your heart can heal. And if you are in a relationship right now, that love relationship can grow and prosper. If you're out of that relationship, another one can come as you're healing your heart or maybe once you heal your heart. The next thing, overcoming difficulties. So if you have been going through some rough times, this card, is to say, hey, there's light at the end of the tunnel. And you can see in the background, there's a big strong mountain with this huge energy force. See the circular pattern of this energy force? That is intense. And so whatever you have gone through has been an intense, powerful experience. And it, it's getting better now. So this card is to say, the worst has passed and see that beautiful path it's a, a path that's a feather and it's leading you to light so lighter brighter more comfortable situations more blessings coming your way so the ideas and inspiration of how to move forward during this time is is coming if not already here and uh, that pathway is being laid out 
to help you to move forward and help you to make choices that will create more ease, more peace, more serenity within your life, more joy. All right, the next card, brilliant idea. So this card is a wonderful confirmation that the ideas and inspiration that you've been having, that you're thinking, should I move forward on this? I don't know, it feels kind of good. I'd like to move forward on this. This is confirmation saying, heck yeah, you need to move forward on this. It's a great idea, go for it. Take some, take some action this week. Take some action this week to continue to get the energy flowing and moving. So maybe you're gonna write an email, maybe you're gonna make a phone call, maybe you're gonna write that proposal. Take some action in some way to get that energy saying, yeah, I'm going for it, baby. And then the universe is gonna help by drawing things to you as you're putting the energy out. It will start magnetizing it. The last card for the week is spread your wings. Woohoo! I love this. So the brilliant idea, the spread your wings, the path is laid, just follow the inspiration. Things are getting better. Your heart is healing. Isn't this amazing? So the spread your wings, it's like you are aligning with your soul's purpose. This is like, this is me. So take that leap of faith, move forward. We all have this clean slate to create a life that we, we have been desiring and you deserve to have that life. And the specific message on here is do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect. You are ready to soar. So spread those wings, honey, and you go soar. These next seven days will be inspirational for you. Trust in yourself and move forward. And if you're interested in a one-on-one -on -one reading, uh, with a so a channeled reading with a healing session, you can let me know. You can still join my yoga classes. I have a Wednesday morning, I have a Saturday morning, a wonderful group of yogis, and you don't have to have done yoga before. And maybe you maybe you've done it, but it's been a long time. It's okay. You don't have to try to get good at it before joining a, joining a class. You can join a class to work towards getting better. Any of that information. So from my light to your beauty.